So around here we have this really annoying thing that happens whenever it rains, which it does a lot. All the dirt and the rain and the hay chaff mixes together and then we run over it with the trucks and the equipment and it turns into super sticky nasty mud. Somehow we ended up with a forklift here at the shop that has absolutely no traction. It literally is a completely smooth tire all around. So I've been looking at traction tires that they make for them um, and it's basically the same tire but it has grooves cut in it so that it can have uh, better traction in dirt and gravel and stuff like that. And I was gonna buy them but I started thinking why couldn't we put grooves on the tires that we have? I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. It started innocently enough with a soldering iron and a tension pin. And the idea was to make a circular blade that I could put in the soldering iron and get really hot so it would cut and melt the rubber at the same time. Put a little bit of a bend in the shaft so that it would be a better angle for cutting the rubber. Turns out hardened steel did not like to bend very well. Here's my tool, that's the blade, it's supposedly getting very hot, I can't tell because I'm too scared to touch it. Tyson, if this works, I'm carving your name into the tires. There you go. That's going to be our traction pattern, will be Tyson's name. <laughs> These back tires are so toast. I don't think there's a point in timing these Well, they don't turn, they just, they're just roll-alongs, so. Okay, this works super good. All right, I'm just gonna cut a slot like all the way across. You're not gonna believe how well this works, Tyson. Okay, check this out. Wow. That worked way better than I thought it would. It's not very deep. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, it's better than nothing. That is pretty good. Go feel that, Tyson. That is traction right there. <laughs> All right, Tyson, you're the you're the judge. It's your forklift. Is this a viable option? It's either you, this works or you buy new ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'll it's coming out of your check if we have to get new ones. Maybe do like three passes over it. See how it goes? Yeah. I'll, here's what I'm thinking. We'll cut them like this and then do like a groove down the middle to like let the mud out. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not deep enough for mud to get caught in <laughs> anyway, but... I think that I think that'll legitimately help on the gravel. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I couldn't leave it at just one. It was so satisfying. I've got to do another one. And then Tyson's gonna go get it stuck, so that we can tell if it makes a difference. Oh yeah, that works really good. Yeah, it does. Oh. Okay, we are headed down to find mud. We're gonna get the forklift stuck and then we'll groove it and see if that helps. So we have to go find a super slick spot. I think that's it. There we go, that's good. It was those two grooves that I put in it, dude. It made all the difference. Yeah, go right through this spot right here.
Oh yeah, that's a good idea. And turning the wheel makes it worse too. Okay, Tyson, now try and back out exactly the way you did. So once you get here, start turning. This is really not going well. Alright, <laughs> right, now let's spin it out. I think... <laughs> Dan's like, what the heck are they doing? Alright, go put it back in the warehouse. It can't be done. <laughs> okay, so because we put two grooves in the tire, now we can't get it stuck. So they worked so well that we can't get it stuck. I think once you put like a line down the middle, mm -hmm. it'll help shed the mud a lot. But this one, which one is this? This was the better of the two. And that one's like, that's a legitimate groove. So I'm thinking we'll just go to town. And I mean, it can't be worse than it already was. Yeah, these tires are pretty bad. Yeah. Ouch. That's me. There we go. Okay, so it kept slipping out because the shaft is not big enough. I think I might delete that part. Um, and so I hose clamped it to the barrel of the soldering iron. Hopefully it's gonna get hot enough, but it actually gives me a little bit better angle on the tire. Um, so we'll see. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. You're good, you're fine. I won't tell anyone. that tread it's actually crooked by design <laughs> because it gives you more traction if it's straight you're definitely more likely to slip so all right one down one to go guys I was really tempted to show you the close-up of grooving the first tire and pretend like it was the second tire but the truth is we didn't get to the second tire we broke the tool we made a second tool and broke that one we ended up making a third tool that was finally capable of carving Tyson's name into the tire, which is what we really wanted to do, and I'm going to show you that on the next video. Please subscribe and check out our next videos. We're posting better content all the time. Thanks for watching.